to a beautiful vain young lady by Francis Elizabeth Brown 1816 to 1879 Your request my dear girl is a delicate task pray what would you wish me to say let me ask must I tell you your eyes are of heavenly blue that your face and your features are beautiful too must I tell you all this nay more must I say these serve but your sweetness and sense to display no a flatterer might tell you all this but a friend believe me will ne'er to such meanness descend a beautiful person we constantly find is not always adorned by a beautiful mind and though a fair face admiration excite the effect it produces is transient and slight disappointed we turn with contempt and disdain from a form though angelic if heartless and vain but if mind and if heart correspond with the face to love and esteem admiration gives place tis the mind which alone can illumine the whole beauty attracts the sight but sweetness wins the soul okay so let's see this is by francis elizabeth brown she was um, born and brought up in Donegal in Ireland um, and she was uh, struck blind by polio when she was about a year old so I think this poem is maybe uh, very good in that context as well when she was about 30 she went to live in Edinburgh and then in her later life she went to live in London so the main thrust or the main idea of this uh, poem it's saying beauty is but skin deep um, real beauty is beauty of the mind beautiful people are not people who look fantastic but people who are good and beautiful inside and as she's blind this is much 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 clearer to her because she can't see the external world so I think this starts with this vain young girl is asking the speaker who I, I, I think is our Francis um, what do you think of me yeah what's your opinion of me and uh, then Francis answers so to answer your question my girl is a delicate task yeah it's a del difficult thing to answer pray please it's very often very common to use pray instead of please what would you wish me to say what do you want me to say let me ask you must I tell you do I have the obligation to tell you your eyes are a bl the blue color of the heavens that your face and your features are beautiful too so do I have to say that you're, you, you're physically beautiful must I tell you all this so is this what you want to hear no I must say more nay is no more must I say yeah these serve but your sweetness and sense to display so these um, only talk about your physical features yeah um, how you look and then she says no a flatterer might tell you all this so a flatterer is somebody who says nice things but insincerely but a friend believe me will ne'er will never to such meanness descend so somebody who wants to flatter you will say oh gosh how beautiful you are how fantastic you look but a friend is not going to do this a friend's going to talk about your real character a beautiful person now she starts with the definition of a beautiful person we constantly find is not always adorned by a beautiful mind 
So people who are physically beautiful, it doesn't mean these are beautiful people. Yeah, they, they're, they, they might be mean and unpleasant people. And though a fair face admiration excite, so people, and although people admire beauty, the effect is, it produces is transient and slight. Yeah, beauty is but skin deep. So yes, you look at something, it's very beautiful, but this is transient, it doesn't last. Disappointed we turn with contempt and disdain from a form though angelic, if heartless and vain. So we, if we look at someone and even though they're really, really beautiful, um, if this person is vain and heartless, yeah, they think they're wonderful, then we turn away from them with contempt and scorn and disdain because they're not good people. But if mind and if heart correspond with the face, so if the person is as beautiful inside as outside, then uh, to love and esteem, admiration gives place. So this is the person we love, the person with the beautiful mind. It is, it is the mind which alone can illuminate the whole. So it's the mind that really makes a person beautiful. Beauty attracts the sight, yeah, so it looks very nice and you look at it, but sweetness wins the soul. So yeah, um, being a good person is what wins people's hearts. So enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon to a beautiful vain young lady by francis elizabeth brown